Of course, we've reported a lot on tragic bicycle accidents lately, and you probably remember when attorney Daryl Isaacs was hit by a car while riding his bike. It's been quite a road to recovery, but luckily he is here to tell us that story. We're happy to welcome him this morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So take us back. What happened to you? Well, I was riding my bike, and um, I was getting ready to turn, and I was waiting for a couple cars, and out of nowhere, I felt something on my calf and next thing I woke up and I'm in the middle of the road bleeding and it was bad. And it has been, uh, as we said, a long road to recovery. You've been yes. through a lot. Yes. How has that been going? Um, it's going well. I've been very fortunate. I spent almost a month in the hospital. I've had two neck operations and um, they put my scalp back on and got my bald spot. <laughs> but uh, I'm very lucky to be alive and life's a gift. Yeah, and that's how you have to approach it every day. Yes. Uh, of course, I, I'm sure you look differently now at the issue of bicycle safety. Yes. And we've had a lot of really tragic reminders of, about what can happen. What is your message? What do you say to people now? Well, first, wear your helmet. Um, I wear my helmet 99% of the time, but the day I didn't wear it, of course, it was this accident. Mm -hmm. And um, But I tell everybody, I tell my kids, wear your helmet. I mean, you know, you can't stop someone from hitting you, but it's the best protection you can do for yourself. What about the responsibility, though, for drivers who are out there? Because there are a lot more cyclists on the roads now. Well, and I understand the road I was on, River Road, the bicyclist has the right of the whole lane if they want. Mm -hmm. um, I know drivers don't like it, but you've got to respect it. It's like walkers, pedestrians. If you see a biker, I mean, you just have to respect their rights as well. You have to remember that part of it. Yes. So how has it changed your outlook on life? Well, I mean, each day you wake up and it's a gift. Um, mm -hmm. Before, I took everything for granted. Um, you know, one silver lining, uh, lost 65 pounds. I may not have done on my own. But, um, but you're it, still, the, in your ad, you're still going to hang on to the hammer <laughs> title, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I just think, and especially now, I'm, I'm not, I'm not driving yet, but um, when I'm in a car, I just tell people, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter if someone cuts you off or you just, you just have to look at each thing and say, is it really worth getting a set over something? And so it's really changed my focus and outlook on life. Well, and I certainly hope hearing those words from you that a lot of other people will consider the same things too. Uh, so. We want to make it a, a safe world as people are out there yes. driving and, and on a bicycle as well. So Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing so well. Good to <laughs> well, see you thank in here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you.